Alrighty then, so here we are today looking at another site scan from another beautiful location. Actually, pretty much the same location we've already scanned, a uh, different area. In fact, this is going to be the largest render we have so far. So, if we go over to do it this way, uh, we're actually on the wrong side, so let's go ahead and shift on over to the other side. And what you're going to see starting out is that uh, we start out on the Kiva side. So there's a large Kiva and you can kind of see the outlines of the Kiva here. That's going to be the biggest thing you're going to see. Uh, right next to the Kiva is going to be a couple of Pueblo uh, rooms that we got some detail of, but not exactly the greatest detail you can see. And then as you get in closer, of course, you can see the windows over here to the right side. You can see the walls. You can see the outline of the Kiva and, of course, some of the outline of the rooms. Of course, we weren't able to really go inside the rooms because of uh, permits and such, but... We hope to get more clear scans. And, and again, as, if, as long as we have access to the area, these scans are extremely accurate. You can see down to the bush details, down to the actual masonry, and even the uh, what, what appears to be contemporary steps that are implemented throughout the site. But like I said, we're starting out on the Kiva side. Uh, right here's the Kiva on the far end and then the stairs on the close end. Uh, as we back up, you're gonna see uh, the path we took, which is on the outside, it's the exterior. And down here, you're going to see the Pueblos. And we were able to mostly get the scans of these, even if I had to kind of arch my arm over and get it. Um, you have pretty close scans on these. If you come over here, of course, you see another room. Uh, we come over to this one. This one's actually paved. So again, with the T structure that you can see from these ruins, uh, it's really, really common. You can't really see the uh, darker masonry used on the very bottom floor, but maybe we'll be able to see it on one of these. Uh, a lot of these scans are to the point where we can't really see the roof or the, the higher end areas because they don't render properly. But this, I mean, like I said, if you get real close, even, even looking at this right here, you can see the details on the stones. So we're going to go out back on the path, follow the path down. We've got another room here, again, with the T-shape. It seems like they implemented it fairly often. Uh, you have some drainage pipes and such here, but those aren't what we're looking for. Uh, basically, the structure, um, this is going to be a larger room. And then as we come out and we go over, we have another room. This one was interesting because it had the struts on it still. It still had a lot of the, the wooden architecture that um, may have been replaced, but it also may have been original, depending. Um, here, let's get a closer look. You can see them from this angle better. And if we get closer, you can see it's obviously damaged. <clears throat> Would have definitely had some sort of cave-in had it still been 100% uh, natural. Now we go up. This next region is uh, mostly, uh, it's hard to scan. It's not, not very easy. The area is kind of hard to access. But as you can see down the way, uh, the doors are always aligned. And then as we go down, these are actually underground. So... What we're going to do is we're going to explore that a little bit, uh, get down to ground level. And then, of course, we have markers everywhere. So if we want to go back and cross-analyze these with what um, the people who are running the place say these things are, we can actually cro cross-analyze them and analyze them a little bit thoroughly. Uh, so this is the first room, of course. Uh, like I said, the biggest render I've had so far with a lot of rooms. Um, you can actually go into these little areas and see how the, um, the access through these little portholes, you can actually see... Oh, whoops. You can actually see directly through it so that's kind of the the level of detail we're getting on these and again right here you can see right directly through it uh you can cross into this room and as you get further back into these rooms uh, one of the interesting things is you actually go further down so you can see they're all each one's getting uh closer and closer to the bottom you can see the holes from the struts uh some of the darker stone actually you can see a lot more of it here than you could earlier uh whether that be from the excavation or whether it be from actually just just being the darker stone used in the the early um building of this monument and then you come over here i don't know why that part didn't render but uh this is going to be the entrance into the underground section so you come in here and you can actually see that the roof it still has the struts uh the, there's usually windows these actually peer into other pueblo areas but i did a decent job at getting most of these the matado uh, in the corner you had like air holes i'm not sure if those are uh, contemporary or not but the doorways again are very very short um, maybe a symbol of the the fact that uh, human beings have uh, when they're nourished they, they grow a lot larger um, but you can see in this area it's 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 awfully small uh, the rooms open up either that or I mean one of the warfare 
reasons that I've been studying for a long time is like, you have to come through one of these doors. The first thing you do is put your head down and you come through this door. You never know what's waiting on the other side. You might get clubbed. You might get stabbed, um, shot with an arrow or something. So, but you have to remember this is, this is, this is a defensive time around this time, a little bit after about 400 years after we see a major decline in all the population in the area. So whether that be in the, uh, the entire Southwest parts of Asia, uh, parts of Europe as well. But then up here you can see again, like I said, the portholes, they go all the way through. You can even see the sunlight. And here, this is actually one of the few rooms that was lit. So we have some shadows, but uh, again, more, more uh, archeological markers. And then as you come through, you can see that this, this room actually continues. Another window. These windows lead into other Pueblo rooms. And then we're about to get to the last room, which uh, opens up to a staircase, a contemporary staircase course. And uh, you can actually see that from the top here where it's kind of blurred out. But I mean, this is an, an excellent, excellent tool for seeing these sites because uh, this is the largest scan I've done, which has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, maybe more rooms involved. So the scanning itself was, was on a large scale. Um, you can see it from, from above. You can see it from within. You can see it, the different walls and how they kind of stack up on each other. Uh, absolutely beautiful though and, and I think uh, we'll keep doing these these site scans as long as we can uh, and, and the more access we get of course we're gonna have better scans uh, again you can see this from the aerial view and then kind of check it out but these are all underground uh, in fact whenever I was going through one of the things I thought was I thought we were actually under the main area but once you kind of weave over you're under need some other pueblos which we didn't actually get to scan we actually ran out of uh, space and then the device we're using crashed so hopefully we can get back there and get some more scans i'd like to get a scan of this below and above that we can get a better idea of what it looks like but for now thank you guys for revisiting history uh, we'll have a lot of really cool stuff coming up and i really do appreciate you guys being here thank you for everything see you soon